Welcome all, Papa G here. Today I present the best, most flavorful meatloaf you'll ever make. We'll use some of the meatloaf ingredients to make a special glaze and sauce that'll bring an already flavorful recipe to its fullest potential. Let's get started. We'll make our sauce first by adding some zero sugar ketchup to a mixing bowl, followed by a little mayonnaise, some yellow mustard, a little Dijon mustard, just a little cayenne pepper hot sauce, some Worcestershire sauce, salt, ground black pepper, and we'll sweeten with a liquid sugar substitute equal to six teaspoons of regular sugar. Give this a mix until thoroughly combined. Cover and refrigerate till later. We'll be using two green onion stalks and six strips of cooked bacon. I find it much easier and a big time saver to use the pre-cooked bacon like this here. Dice the onions and bacon into small pieces. Give a light coat of oil to a two-quart baking dish. Add two pounds of 8515 ground beef to a large mixing bowl. Add the chopped bacon and green onions. Add some zero sugar ketchup, yellow mustard, salt, ground black pepper, garlic powder, just a little onion powder, some Worcestershire sauce, almond flour, some grated Parmesan cheese, and finally three lightly beaten eggs. Use your hands and mix until thoroughly combined. Add the beef to the pre-oiled baking dish and mold into a loaf shape. It's important to note that the tighter the mold, the better the meatloaf will stay together after cooking. You can remove the questioning if your meatloaf is done by using a thermometer probe like this one. Mine connects to my phone via Bluetooth and allows me to monitor the temperature away from the kitchen. Just be sure to place the probe in the center and middle of the meatloaf to get the most accurate results. We want to cook the meatloaf until it reaches an internal temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Place our beet loaf in the middle of a preheated 375 degree oven for 45 to 50 minutes. At this time, you'll see it's not quite done, but here is where we want to add our sauce. Remove from the oven and add about six tablespoons of sauce over the meat loaf. Brush to evenly coat. Place the probe back in and return to the oven until it's reached our desired temperature. This should take about 20 to 25 minutes. Remove from the oven and let rest at least 10 to 15 minutes before removing from the baking dish. Use a couple of spatulas to carefully remove. Cut into slices. Serve with some extra sauce, dust with a little dried parsley for garnish, and enjoy. There you have it folks, my savory and delicious meatloaf recipe. Low carb by no way means low flavor. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.